there, folks. It's a &T at the Arizona Ghost Riders here. We got some more mail. Hey, Santee, can you please shed some light on prisons in the Old West? Thanks, Mike Helmer. The Slammer, the Pokey, the Gray Bar Hotel. Yeah, I think we can do that. Roll them. In just about every Western movie, somebody ends up in jail. Usually to sleep it off or until the circuit judge arrives to hang them. You know, that kind of thing. But those malfeasance who had an extended stay needed to go to a prison where they could be monitored 24-7. Many of these con colleges were established in the territorial period, so they had funding from the legislature. Also, the prisoners were used for labor, which brought in additional money. Like today, they were built with guard towers and thick rock or brick walls to discourage the inmates from leaving. I scoff at your moronic interpretation of who's gal architecture. The conditions in the joint ranged from okay to downright awful. Yuma Territorial Prison was overcrowded and you had too many prisoners to sell. They also had an issue with tuberculosis, which, in a confined prison situation, is hard to contain. Now, Yuma had a cutting-edge ventilation system for the scorching summer heat, yet convicts still had to empty out their own chamber pots. Hmm. Technology. Yuma was built in 1876, and the first prisoners actually built their own cells. I may have built mine with a bar and a widescreen TV mount, providing I could find one. I understand you're a man that knows how to get things. Some famous outlaws were incarcerated in the calaboose. Yuma holds claim to Pearl Hart and gunman buckskin Frank Leslie, while Wyoming State Prison in Laramie once housed Robert Leroy Parker, otherwise known as Butch Cassidy. Yeah, he spent 18 months in there for a cattle wrestling. This Wyoming State Penitentiary in Rollins is one of the most haunted buildings in the United States. <laughs> if you believe in ghosts. <laughs> The younger brothers were incarcerated at Stillwater Prison in Minnesota after their botched bank robbery with Jesse James. Hello. 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 The Stony Lonesome was usually built to house only men, but later on had to make accommodations for women. This was particularly difficult because the women had to be in a separate section away from the men. This meant more money and more employees. Here's another interesting fact of incarceration in the 19th century. Prison guards kept an incredibly detailed dossier on each inmate. They not only noted scars and tattoos, but dental hygiene, habits, and even posture. As far as the rules go, there were a lot of them. Breaking a rule could have you thrown into solitary confinement, which was bad. Did prisoners escape? Yep. I plan to do a handful of episodes about Old West prisons, jails, and escapees, and we'll cover all of that. Don't you worry. Oh, uh, hey, Dan, could you come here a second? I lost that $20 bill in there somewhere. I think it's behind the bench. Yeah, all right. Hey! Hey, Santi. Hey, Jerry, how you doing? <laughs> What's Dan doing in there? Yes. Well, he's a dirty, rotten car cheat, so I locked him in there. He's gonna be mad. Uh... You know that door isn't locked, it's for guests. What? Oh, that's... that's bad. I'm gonna get the trauma kit. Oh, God, here he come back! <laughs>